Hello, viewers, and welcome to Ask the Drunks, episode number 10. Number 10. All right. Damn, dude, you're up to 10 already. It's <laughs> fucking great. Mm, 10 weeks. I know, episode right? number 10. I know. It's great. All right. Keep, keep, so, keep sending in your, like, feedback on uh, Facebook.com. Sorry. Okay. Eh, you no, we can't get sued for it. We're well, not getting paid. Hey, it's that's okay. Us. So, Facebook.com, you know, you can see <laughs> just, uh, Layton. Just, yeah, just find us on Facebook. Just yeah, Layton, yeah. L-A-Y-T-O-N, just type it in and find it, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Layton, uh, I won't give you the last name. So, it's just, just Layton. Layton. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Chetty, Brandon, whatever. Anyway, so we have a couple questions from our friend Mike. And his, and his first question is, what is... The retroactive continuity. Thank you, Mike. I have absolutely no fucking clue. It's gonna be like a question that, uh, that we can actually, like, uh, you know, answer at least somewhat. Well, okay. The, the, re <laughs> the retroactive so. continuity. That's the style of retro, and it just continues. Wow. Why did I think of that? <laughs> Oh, wait. That, that's what retroactive con drug. community yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Continu continuity. Continuity. Right. Or so, continuity. So, so, you know, uh, you know, retro at this point, it's kind of dead. No. I mean, no. a lot of people still go with it, but at the same point, I'm still dead. Get with the times. Don't live in the past. Live to the future. Hence why I go cyber goth. <laughs> okay. And then question number two. Why are so many crackheads missing teeth? From all the fucking crack. If you actually know what it does to your like bone structure and everything like that, oh, it totally fucks your world up. Uh, one of my ex-girlfriend's uh, stepfathers was was an ex-meth addict, and, and he actually lost all of his teeth because it, it corroded all of his teeth and and just like fucked up his entire bone no, structure. That's what meth so, does. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it it he, fucks your here, world up. Here in Washington, so, fucking probably the. Almost capital of the meth. Um, actually, the, actually, the meth, like, well, I imagine Washington is probably top three. Probably, but I, I, will, I, I will tell you right now that um, actually the town that I grew up in, Pocatello, Idaho, is probably the top meth capital of the world. As far as like small cities States. go. No, actually, it is like one of the top because uh, they have the Indian Reservation out there, the uh, Fort Hall Indian Reservation, where that's pretty much 90% of their income. Is, is from, like, growing meth. Alright. Uh, cultivating meth. So, the moral of the story, yes, we are we are drunks with morals. Don't do crack. Uh, crack, you, you can't crack get... Crack is whack. Come on, smile with it. Crack is whack. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, crack, don't do crack. Do you like sleep? Don't do crack. Pretty much. Do but you, at the do same you point, enjoy, dude, you, do know you, my, you know my stand, you know my standpoint. Don't do crack. You know my standpoint. I'll sleep enough when I'm dead. Okay. And then... The you you haven't taken a drink yet, sir. Take a drink before oh, the good. last question. No, I'm good. Come on. No, I'm good. The, right. the final question for, for tonight of episode number 10 of Ask the Drunks is... What is the deal with watermelons? Watermelons are honestly like what the fuck is with goddamn watermelons? Watermelons are good, dude. I will tell you right now, for all you little stoners out there, watermelon is your best friend. I found this out like randomly. Uh, though this isn't the bad ass of the stoners, it's bad ass of the drugs. But little side note, we, I, I'm sure we have a lot of stoner viewers and everything like that. Maybe. Trust me, watermelon is the way to go. I found this out randomly. Water, think about it. Cures cotton mouth. Melon, what melon have you not tasted that didn't taste fucking good? Picture that like ten times better. Stoked. Trust me. Water, melon, great. Cures cotton mouth, fucking great tasting. Don't swallow the seeds. Hazardous. Choking hazard. But uh, yeah, especially, especially, seedless, especially, seedless watermelon, go all the way. Especially if it gets caught in your uh, pancreas. And if a, a oh, little yeah. watermelon seed gets caught in your pancreas, then you gotta have an appendectomy. I you gotta be in the hospital for a day or two or whatever. And, damn. 
Yeah, but medical science has come like a long way. You know, if you have to have a, uh, an appendectomy, that you know, you're pretty much good. You'll pretty much be in and out. They, they use a lot. Well, of, yeah. They use a lot of laser surgery now. Yeah. That, uh, well, know, that, well, it, that, it, it pretty much it pretty much makes the makes the incision and uh, cauterizes the wound at the same time. Yeah, well, that and there's just a there's just a few there's like a couple of day recovery in the hospital. Like one day if you got some stitches or whatever from a deep cut and. A lot longer if you're unconscious and everything, but yeah, but you, yeah. usually like if they use like laser surgery now, then uh, you're, you're you're pretty much looking at um, you know as soon as they make the incision, it's pretty much cauterized at the same time, so you're pretty yeah. much in and out. I it's imagine, pretty much I the same thing with like um, with I, like I, I imagine they probably put people on like a on a, on a 24 hour watch, pretty to, much to make sure the cuts don't open pretty up. Much. If the if the 24 hours are not open up, they're all they're relatively healed, you know. They'll, Wheel them out in a wheelchair and everything so they can stay still for a little while and then the person that's picking up will load them in the car. Oh yeah. Well, you know, it's kinda like it's kinda great to, to see how um you know, pretty much like medical science. I mean, this is kind of a side topic, but you know, we'll go with it. You know, we didn't have like our questions are pretty easy tonight, right? You figure we can go on with a little bit more of like medical science? Talk about the skin gun a little bit? Well, well not really. We we haven't really ran through what it was with watermelons. Watermelon. We haven't had that at all. I told you, I like watermelon. <laughs> he likes his what, watermelon what do you vodka. Like? What do you, I do like watermelon vodka. It's pretty good. I like boobs are the biggest with... watermelons. There you go. You've answered watermelon. So all right. Can we go about the skin gun? No. Are you sure? We've been a long time. All right. Thank you for viewing this episode of Ask sure? the Drunks. Are you sure? Skin gun. Dude, come on. Ask us questions. Whatever Medical questions science, you have in your mind. Look up skin gun. Anything. Great. Any questions go. Thank you again. Later. See you at episode number 11.